All new here at 10 o'clock. We've got an update on a story we first told you about last week. A beloved husky died at an illegal boarding and training company in the colony. That's all according to his owner. But now animal advocates are seeing firsthand the condition those dogs were left in. From the beginning, this couple who wants to remain anonymous felt something was wrong. Get him, Pearl. Get him. This dog they've named Pearl and two others running into their yard two weeks ago. Whenever I put the water down and they went at it immediately. And that's when I like smelled something like terrible. I was like, whoa. I was like, they smell like trash. And then I also noticed one was very emaciated. Like I could see his ribs easily. But at the um, time, we thought they were just loose dogs. They say it wasn't until later that Animal Control told them they came from Leva Boarding and Training, which was operating illegally out of a nearby home. They asked police to do a welfare check. I even told them, I was like, look, I don't ever do this, but like, I'd rather be you know, safe than sorry. Um, and that's when Animal Services came to us. And they told us, like, we've actually had a lot of stuff about this house. Like, they drive by, they've gotten, I think, what, like 14 dogs that this At month. that time. Last week, we spoke to Chris Naramani, who told us his husky, Titus, died while under the business's care. It upset me so much. I wish I would have known that this was happening, that neighbors could watch out. Our worst fear, like, actually came to fruition. Like, it actually was a dog in distress. On Friday, police arrested 48-year-old David Juddelson on seven animal cruelty charges. He's since posted bond. Now, as police continue to investigate, animal advocates want to see the owner of the business charged as well. It was her father that was arrested. And that's that's what we're trying to end, is her having the ability to to even run an operation like this. And tonight, those homeowners tell us they're looking for a permanent home for the three dogs they took in. They're hoping by sharing their story, they'll find a good fit soon. In the Colony, Aaron Jones, CBS News, Texas.